Hey guys, welcome back to Intent RC. Here we are again. It's been a little while. Um, we've been apart for a bit. So. It's been a little bit. Yep. I, we have no excuse. Life. Whatever. Li life is life. Right. So intro and to the thing. Um, so we've got a new build going on. Um, my bad. You just fucked it up. Fuck. I was trying to leave myself some space there for the cut. No, I wanted no cut. The little <laughs> and the lightning and stuff. <laughs> and then we start talking about the project. <laughs> Um, so I came across something. I ended up scoring something that I've been wanting to score for a very long time. And so have I, but I don't know it yet. Um, yeah, so I brought it over, decided to show Chris. He's, uh, he's drilled over it a little bit. It's an old barn find patina sort of thing. Um. But it'll be barn finder and patina -er. <laughs> Yeah. I, yes, it will. And it's going to be way cooler when and it's, it's gonna all said and done. It's going to be way cooler. Yeah, so, um, I guess we should get at it and probably show you. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll show them. We'll, we'll tease them a little longer, yeah. you know, tickle them under the chin, chin <laughs> a little bit. A little chinny chin chin. <laughs> a little chinny chin chin. <laughs> okay, so you scored this thing, you sat on it, you dragged it over here, and I said, hey, cool, what are we going to do with it? And you basically said, well, let's just put it together and run it. And I looked at it and said, no, no, we can do better than that. Yeah, because it was, it wasn't great at first. It no, was, it, it was, it was, it was, it was okay. It was good. It was okay, but we can do better than okay. This is in 10th yeah. RC. This is in 10th. Yeah. This is not like here's an RC. Yeah. Right? We're going to do some cool shit. So let me take a quick moment before we bring the thing out to talk about where we're going with this. And I don't mean this particular truck, which we're going to show you in a second here. Uh, we've decided we're going to start doing some build series videos where we're going to show you clips of us actually building on stuff. And I, and I don't mean just putting kits together. I mean, you know, modifying and customizing and doing stuff like that. And ultimately, we're going to step you through entire projects. Yes, correct. So a couple of them we actually already have in progress. You know, we're just at the starting stages of this particular one. Uh, but we're going to start bringing you build series videos where we, we show you some of the individual steps along the way as well as the finished project. Uh, so this one here, my Toyota Tribute truck that you've already seen, they're all going to be part of the build series and there's going to be more. But in the meantime, there is this little gem over here. No, it's not the monster truck. No. Nope. Tell them what they've won, Bob. <laughs> it's not Stubby Bob. No. <laughs> no, it is not Stubby Bob. We're not doing Stubby Bob. All right. No. Tell so, them what it is. So this is a King Kong um, RC. It's a CA10. Yep. Um, Two-wheel drive model. It's not the four-wheel drive model. Beautiful little truck. Um, right out of the box. The actual kit themselves are gorgeous. I've seen them many times. This had a flat deck on it. Yeah, it was, it was wooden and home built, and I don't want to really detract from the builder, but it didn't thrill me anyways. So. Yeah, it, it, it was good if you want a flat deck. Yeah. That's about it, but we don't want a flat deck. With a we? big wooden, like, steamer trunk looking thing on it, which, again, I don't want to detract from the guy that built it, whoever that was. It was okay, but it's not, it's not yeah. us. It's not what we want. No, not at all. So anyways, I made a little bit of a mistake, because it's been here for, what, probably a month and a half now? Easily. Probably more. Probably longer. So I made the mistake of leaving it here, and eventually the flatbed didn't exist anymore. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it, but it's not here, obviously. So I unlocked the shop one day, walked in, and it was gone. I'm, oh. I'm sticking to that story. Okay. My nose growing? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, no, I made it go away. But it's got some really neat features already. Oh, well, let's just pull the whole cab off. Oh, just just break oh, it. Oh. Wait, no, it's, it's stuck over the servo. Oh, is it? Yep, it's a tight, snug, freaking... Thank you. Fit. There you go. Cab. So the cab itself has quite a few neat little features, such as like hood goes up, like and properly the way it's supposed to. Yay. Um, doors open, stuff like that. So it's a good start to what we want. It's a damn good start. I'd just like to point out that the interior is mostly in existence, but we've taken it out because obviously the thing's being worked on. Just a freaking okay. a nightmare getting that thing on there over the servo. I'm going to actually reconfigure how that works. Um, so yeah, the interior's out of it because it's going to get redone, but you know, the door's open. So that's a plus right there and the hood opens and that's nice too. Uh, I was missing a bunch of stuff, including the headlights and the headlights actually originally were supposed to mount on these inboard points here. And I decided that just didn't quite have the look we want. So we're working on fitting some headlight buckets to it. Um, and it's going to get a full engine bay with a proper engine and the whole shooting match. But what are we really doing with this thing? So, you know, Greg and I are hashing it out. Let's do this. Let's do that. And we ultimately landed on 
Uh, tow truck. Tow truck. Tow right. truck. Wrecker. Wrecker. Sorry, I just sorry to be slow on that. I just noticed something else that's been going that went on with the truck. What? Oh no, there's a weird tire up here now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was playing around with rubber. Um, these points here I created on my 3D printer because I wanted to space up the wrecker body to the right height. But we'll get to the wrecker body thing in a second. So we decided that I mean, any of you model builders out there know that you know anything. Anything old especially, but model cars in particular, but anything old especially has a story to it. Yep. Right, and that's kind of the charm of anything that's old. Yeah, so let's not ruin the story for them. We'll tell the story when it comes down to build. No, but they're going to need a little bit of background on this. And the little bit of background on this is, like, period correct. You know, this, this, this is a mid-40s model. And period correct, you know, 40s going into the 50s, wrecker bed. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to build like a modern homes bed or something like that. We're going to do something a little period correct. And th because of the fact that a wrecker from the 40s or 50s wouldn't have survived until today without being crushed, ultimately retired and crushed, it must have sat in a barn for a long period yep. of time. So barn find. Barn find. And that's, <laughs> that's the whole theme here is this thing is going to be built such that it sat in a barn for frickin' 45, 50 years and then ultimately got dragged out. And that's how we're going to present it to Why you. Why don't we show yep. them what we've been working on? Let's. It's going to be cool. I think you guys will enjoy. Right. So, you know, in addition to the bed going bye-bye, and, you know, that one tire that I've kind of messed with. You can ignore that. I'm not using that rubber. It was just a test fit to see what things are going to be like. Um, I told you that I 3D printed these braces to bring the bed up to the height that I wanted for the bed. And just for the record, I lopped like an inch and a half off the frame rails back here. So there is no returning. There's no, no going home. No, there's no going home. So that right there is the bed. That's the basics of the bed. And I... Uh, Sussed this out in cardboard first just trying to get my dimensions right and I fine-tuned it from there That is in fact the bed and more or less where it's going to sit if I can bring that into alignment kind of the way it is And that's one millimeter styrene sheet pretty much all the way around except for the base Which is like two and a half millimeter. This stuff's thick man. It's strong, but yeah. this wrecker will be functional very functional so we had to provide a good platform for that little camera little camera little one yeah. look how little that truck is yeah. all right so king here we king. go king kong ca10 oh isn't it beautiful just glorious he did a great job with the bed well um i'm actually new to this whole styrene fabrication thing um i did a bunch of model building when i was younger but i'm talking like model kits i did some kit bashing and stuff like that where you're putting this transmission or that engine or maybe a little bit of a lift kit on a 4x4 but you know this whole thing with uh oh i put it away in the box i'm sorry that toyota tribute truck that you guys have seen that i'm building with the custom made box and all that that was like my first let's try and fabricate some crap out of styrene yeah. so this is new but this specifically this bed was kind of not designed in my head so to speak um this actually kind of would have been period correct for the time um everybody knows the name homes when it comes to wrecker beds but i decided that the homes design didn't cut it. So this is actually modeled after the Ashton brand of wrecker beds, wrecker bodies from the time period being the 40s and 50s. And, uh, you know, it's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect because this thing's going to be as dragged out of a barn, you know, having sat for like 50 years. Yeah. But either way, she's going to be kind of cool. Um, like I said, we're doing a scale engine. And uh, I think we decided that it was going to get a flathead in line six. Yeah, that's exactly what right. we're going to go Manual with. Manual transmission, very truck-like from back in the yep. day. And so that's going to be a combination of some 3D printed parts and some fabrication uh, because I can't just go and buy a flathead in line six. No. No, no we can't. So we're, I wish we could. We're working on solving that. All right. So, yeah, as far as the wrecker body goes, like I said, it is going to be functional. This is something that, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be kind of shelf queen-ish in that, you know, it's not going to see a lot of use, but it will see some use. And we plan on shooting video with it in action. Yes, very much so. so. Um, it's going to have, you know, the whole A-frame and boom assembly. And it's going to have the sling with the rubber yep. straps and the whole shooting match, like old school tow truck stuff. Yep. 
Um, and that is going to be functional to some degree or another, right? I for, don't know. For the most degree. Don't know yet if the boom's going to go up and down, but it is definitely going to be able to raise and lower we, the sling. We, we haven't started working on that yet. We'll get there. No. That's, so, that's a little ways away now. Yeah, you're coming into the project in progress, but it's not very far in progress because all I've done is devote 25,000 hours to, you know, the basic form of the bed for crying out loud. Which is cool. Yes. Awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. Um, so I guess... Honestly, we're going to move into some other builds as well. Uh, oh, there's lots point. more. I've got a whole list of, you know, projects that are... As do I. <sighs> Boy, yeah. What did that list? 10, 12 projects that are already in progress. So, something like that. And I brought two over today. And then another three or four on paper that haven't even broken ground yet. But yeah. the bottom line is, as far as build videos go, yeah, there's going to be lots. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And have, we'll catch you later. Have a great day.